Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Well, we've talked about the dry weather, and I just wanted to show you how dry it's been here at the TV station. May is going to be below normal. We already know that. And uh, eight of the last nine months have been below normal. We had to go all the way back. August of last year was above normal. So after that, September, October, November, December, January, February, all below normal. March was wetter than normal. Below in April, and May is going to be below. So... This then makes you wonder about drought conditions. Tomorrow the drought monitor will come out. We will show that to you, but I wanted to show you this map. This actually was uh, by NOAA, and this was issued today for the first week of June, June 1 to June 7, and right over this area of the entire country, this was the area they were highlighting for a risk, what we call a flash drought or a rapid onset drought because we're rapidly drying things out. So again, this does include parts of our viewing area. We'll keep an eye on that. Drought monitor comes out tomorrow, but starting to get a little concerned about the lack of rainfall. Temperatures today, when the ground dries out, temperatures warm up as well. And today we hit 85, making it the warmest day we've seen all year. 93, the record high, sit back in the year of 1939. No rain. That continues to be the concern. We're at 1.67, so we're going to end way below normal. Four and a half inches is where we should be in a typical month of May. Here's what we got with the Wabash River in Terre Slow fall, not falling very quickly. Right now it's about six and a half feet. So, what are some of the things that we're looking at? Well, really, other than the lack of rain, pretty good weather. Summer temperatures, but it's going to cool off the next couple days. Very, very nice. Nice holiday weekend. Plenty of sunshine to go around as well. At the airport in Terre Haute, boy, it's warm out there. Look at this. 86 degrees. Winds are fairly light now, only at about 6 miles per hour. Here's your cycle cast. This is projected for 7 o'clock, so in just about 45 minutes or so. Still 83 with a northeast breeze out there, so a beautiful evening to get on the bike or anything you want to do. These temperatures are pretty much in the 80s all across the area so again very warm water vapor don't have any moisture really there's a front moving in we call the backdoor cold front moving in from the northeast to the southwest it's generating a few clouds that's it just a few clouds not enough moisture in the air to generate any rain nothing showing up on the dorset automotive doppler radar so just a few clouds. I'm going to let this roll for the next 48 hours. You'll notice the clouds kind of move to the south and to the southwest a little bit. That's because our airflow is going to be coming from the north the next couple days, which means cooler air, but also very low uh, humidity levels. The dew point numbers will be very low, so we're talking about some really comfortable air moving in over the next couple of days. The wind will stay out of the northeast, maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour tomorrow. And as we head into the day Friday, once again, not real strong, but there will be a little bit of a breeze. But check this out. These dew point numbers are going to be crazy low. I mean, we're talking dew point numbers down into the low 30s by Friday morning. So the air is going to be really dry, and it's going to be a lot cooler over the next couple of days. After that... This just doesn't show anything. This goes out for a week. So this goes all the way to the middle of next week. And you get the idea. We just don't see much and we have any rain for the next week in the area. Look at this. The end of May and the first few days of June, warmer than normal, but also we continue with drier than normal. Forecast goes like this for tonight. Then temperatures back into the mid-50s, much like last night. Just a few clouds here and there. Then during the day tomorrow, you're going to notice it's going to be cooler. Still low humidity, but a daytime high tomorrow in the mid-70s. How about that? Very pleasant out there. And then after that, still on a very nice day on Friday. The holiday weekend will start warming up. We're talking temperatures in the low 80s on Saturday and Sunday, mid-80s on uh, Monday, and we could be looking at low 90s by early next week.